G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Today we've got an FJ Cruiser behind us. It's come in for timing code. Stick with us and I'll show you what we found. So this vehicle came to us for a second opinion because he had an engine rebuild done about six months ago and it's had the intake cam phaser assembly replaced on bank two. So the timing chain set a second time. It's coming for us and as you can see, it's got these codes in the system. Um, still relating to obviously bank two. Just, that's the one where the cam phaser was, was replaced because the uh, cams on each bank have a single chain that connects the cams um, individual to each bank and then it's got one main chain that goes across the engine. So obviously given the codes, we followed the data, we want to do a camera crank correlation to see if we had the timing set right, but unfortunately we've only got a four channel scope and uh, this has got quad sensors. So we decided to just compare all scope, uh, scope cam sensors to each other and we were able to determine that the cam set on each bank was timed correctly to each other, but the bank two cam set was 10 degrees advanced uh, in compared to bank one. And as you can see by the um, the cam phaser that was replaced from bank two, actual tone, or the actual cam sprocket itself has got 36 teeth on the outer edge. And obviously 360, the full circle divided by 36 teeth is 10 degrees. So we were under the assumption that it was going to be one tooth advanced on bank two. And as you can see here, we pulled the rocket covers off. This is bank one. You probably can't see too well, but we've got the black mark right there on the front and it lines up with the mark on the back over here and on the bad bank, as you can see here, that's the front mark of the phaser and that's the mark at the back, one tooth off. So we're gonna rectify this and get this done 100% um, for the customer and this will be out the door. So there you go guys, uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. And it's just, you know, it's an easy thing to say. Sometimes we get the vehicle in, we, we get sidetracked by what's going on, but in this case, we just followed the data and we found the timing out. So we'll get this repaired for the customer and get it 100% and back on the road. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.